Greetings from the pumpkin patch. It's autumn in New York. Let's check in with the pumpkin pickers. Let's start with Teresa. How was your it's afternoon nice at Windy Acres? It, it's nice to say it's my fourth year being here. And it's uh, more people each Daddy year. Cakes. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really good. And now this is your fifth year in a row pumpkin picking and fourth year at Windy Acres. What is it about this farm that you love for the autumn? Uh, there's so much here for the kids. Colorful. Uh, when I walk, when you walk in from the road, you go through the actual store where they have the vegetables, which gives it a very country scene. And then when you walk out and you go into the field, it's amazing. You, all you see is children and people and red and black just running in front of your face. It's it truly indicative of what this holiday is. Fun. And speaking of maize, we've got a fan of the corn maze. Angela, how was the corn maze this year at Windy Acres? It is a lovely swacky me in the face. <laughs> now how about your pumpkin picking? How did you do this year? Good. What kind of pumpkins did you look for? Big ones, small ones? Yeah, I like the very little. Now next to the corn maze back over here, there are the live farm animals where we caught up with Carmen. Tell us about your experience with the farm animals at Windy Acres. I love the new baby cow that they have. It's so cute. <laughs> now you were carting around your pumpkin after you picked it because you didn't want anyone else to take it. Yeah. What is so special about, let's get a shot of your carded pumpkin over there. What was so special about that particular big, pumpkin? Big. And I see you and your sisters wore twin shirts. Very, very nice. Very nice. Let's check in with Renee. How's pumpkin picking with the family this year? Oh, very lovely. Now you're coming here now three years in a row. What brings you back to Windy Acres? They just have so much for everyone. <laughs> now you enjoyed the front of the farm this year, the hot apple cider. And How was that? It was crumb diddly umptious. <laughs> now we just got here and your apple cider container, is it full or is it empty? It's quite empty. Is it that fresh? <laughs> it's that fresh and that empty and just that marvelous and appalicious. Let's check in with John, who skipped pumpkin picking last year. What got, what got you back in the field for this year? I think it's just beautiful out today. I'm so glad that I came. It's such a nice day, and just to see everything and all the colors and just enjoy it with everybody. It's been a blessing today. And look at that. Not a cloud in the sky. Now, before we go into the pumpkin patch, Carmen and Angela, you want to give us a tip for people when they're pumpkin picking? And I use the word tip particularly as uh, an example of what you'd want people to know about when they're picking pumpkins. Watch out for the vines, they're killers. <laughs> yeah, watch out for the vines, they don't smash any pumpkins while you fall down. <laughs> and let's look at the tip on this pumpkin. How brown is that? What type of advice would you tell someone when they're picking pumpkins and they see a brown stem like um, that? Don't pick it, get a green one. Why? because the green ones last longer, and also don't carve it right away. And no one likes the wood that's brown. <laughs> there you go. Let's go into the pumpkin patch and check out a little bit of the pumpkin. Ray, you wanna help us find a pumpkin? Sure. Here is the pumpkin pack, pumpkin patch at Windy Acres. It is a pick your own. There are some pumpkins still on the vine, real small ones this year. Um, but what we were talking about before with the brown stem versus oh the green stem, this was just picked. So you kind of know that this may last you straight into to Halloween or maybe even to Thanksgiving if you're not going to carve it. Now we are in the second weekend of October and the fields are still full. Last weekend there was a hurricane in New York, a suspected hurricane, Hurricane Joaquin. And so a lot of people are coming out for the first time. Now here is a pumpkin on the vine. Of course it's too small, you wouldn't want to pick this one. Um, but here are the beautiful pumpkin oh, vines that are still growing. So this one that's an indent. What did you find that was special about that one? It has an indent in it. Like this it's pumpkin has an any belly button. <laughs> <laughs> this one's quite nice. It's firm, has a green stem. Stem's a little soft, which shows that it's still fresh. No soft spots on the pumpkin itself. That's and what you look for. Look at that color. As it's under the sun setting here on the pumpkin patch, the orange is just a glow. Another baby pumpkin. Now, is this a baby pumpkin or is that a gourd? I have no idea. This is indeed a baby pumpkin. Although you can buy pumpkins that are that small, they'll be in the gourd family and they can last you all the way through the winter season. 
And that's just some of the highlights here as we're pumpkin picking, celebrating the autumn fall harvest. Till next time. Bye.